World leaders, including U.S. President Joe Biden, are unveiling tough new sanctions on Russia as they gather in Hiroshima for the G7 summit. The sanctions aim to close loopholes and target untapped industries to choke off Moscow's war financing. A dedicated G7 session on Ukraine is scheduled, and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is expected to address the group in person. Zelensky's presence in Hiroshima highlights his appeal for military assistance as Russia's invasion continues. The summit began with leaders laying wreaths at the Hiroshima Peace Memorial, a reminder of the atomic bomb dropped on the city in 1945. The U.S. plans to tighten export controls, introduce nearly 300 new sanctions, and expand its sanctions authorities to target Russia's economy. The United Kingdom will ban the import of Russian diamonds and other commodities. The debt ceiling standoff in the U.S. is also a concern, as it risks undermining American leadership and the global economy. Biden's decision to cut his Asia trip short reflects the urgency of negotiations over raising the U.S. borrowing limit. The risk of default could weaken American diplomatic authority. The G7 discussions will cover various topics, including Ukraine, China, and artificial intelligence. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine will be a key focus, with G7 members preparing to implement new sanctions and export controls. The aim is to economically isolate Russia further and support Ukraine in regaining territory and assuming leverage in potential peace talks. While the U.S. remains Ukraine's largest contributor of military assistance, calls for advanced weapons to be sent to Ukraine have emerged. But Biden has resisted such escalation.